I'm doing a bit of mapping in central Kazakhstan today, and today's outcrop of the day is this beautiful ignimbritic lithic tuff. You can see all these fragments here, and there's a bit of fiammy texture. Now it looks really silicified. It's very hard. And for a while there, I thought that that's what it was, until I broke open a piece. You can see that it's really coarse grain. All these big cavities are pieces of the fragments of the lithic material that have been weathered out, but there's enough cavities in there to grow some of the crystals that's really doing the alteration. That mineral is alunite. When I tilt it around in the sunlight, you can see these brilliant reflections off the crystals in some of the cavities here, particularly in that area there. There's lots of slightly pinkish coloured, brilliant cleavage faces reflecting in the sunlight. In this little cavity here, you can see some bladed shapes to the crystals. And that means that we're in a high sulfidation epithermal system, and this is a lithocap. Some fluid has come up a feeder structure somewhere, got into this porous lithic tuff, and made a large area of very strong alunite alteration. And that's wonderful because high sulfidation epithermal systems can have very nice ore bodies in them but it's notoriously difficult to find them because you get large areas of this lithocap alteration, horizontal or sub-horizontal, and finding the feeder structures is the difficult bit, and that's where the ore is. The ore is always in breaches in the feeder structures that bring the fluid up into these porous horizons. Now in this case, we got super lucky because as we stepped out of the truck and on the way to this outcrop, we walked over that little pale coloured ridge over there in the background and sticking out on that ridge is a vertical chalcedonic quartz vein with lots of goss and after sulphide in it. That's exactly what the feeder structures look like in these systems and there it is, outcropping. We're very fortunate this system is eroded down to just the right level where we can see the roots of the lithocap and that's where the ore body is going to be.